What's up guys, hello and welcome back to another Explore. Today we are somewhere we've already been before. If you guys remember this video. I really thought that was going to be um, a definite because it was on 28 days later and uh, those sorts of places are usually 100% open because so many people go to them. So yeah, it's a bit disappointing when you walk away. Especially seeing that place look really cool. Especially like a really big house and then inside there's a swimming pool and there's a tennis court out at the back. It looks look really interesting. And so, uh, Disappointing that we've got to leave having not gone in. We're back, except we're back and it's pitch black. Yeah, I know, it's a running theme, it's, it's winter, give me a break. But anyway, we're here with Warren. Hi guys. And uh, we found a way in. There is in fact a way in. So we're gonna go, we're gonna have a look inside. Uh, this is also a place that had an indoor swimming pool that uh, I really wanted to see last time and I'm so excited because the way in goes straight into the swimming pool. You excited? I am excited, yes. I'm, I'm excited. Let's go. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go inside, have a look. Okay, guys, there is a very good reason as to why I'm pointing at the floor right now, and it's the fact that we've just come in and we found the swimming pool. Like I said, the way in just comes straight to the swimming pool, and it's a doozy. Look at that. <laughs> that's huge. That's a lot deeper than I was expecting as well. Like, the camera does not do it justice, but that's very, very deep. Just to give you guys an idea of how big this swimming pool is, like, I mean, no disrespect to Warren whatsoever, but how big Warren is, and then <laughs> how big this swimming pool is. You look, you look tiny next to that swimming pool. I know, isn't it? It's huge. This is massive, it's well deep as well. It is really deep. Like, for some reason, I don't know why, it's got like, like I don't know, it goes much deeper in the middle. Yeah. Why is it, go it's really like a deep end and a shallow end, but this is like deeper in the middle. I think it might be because when there's kids in the pool, they've actually got an edge that's all exactly the same height all the way around. Mm, possibly, or maybe it's just where you drain the pool, I don't know. Yeah. So one thing I am going to say that we need to be careful of in this place that I'm not usually that careful with, because it's not really been an issue before, but I should be more careful with it, is needles. Uh, this place is, is pretty renowned for like having lots of needles around. It was used as a drug den for a while. So I'm going to be very careful, very meticulous about where I put my feet, my hands and everything. So uh, we'll try and be careful. Obviously, you can't, you know, make sure that you're not going to get hurt by anything, but uh, or everything, but I'll do my best. <laughs> Cleaning oh, dust on my lens. Cleaning some dust on my lens. Squeaky clean. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what size that screw? That's huge! Like a coach screw. Like. Yeah, I bet you're fine. That's got a T30 end on it. Oh, 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 well, the star, the star thing, yeah. Oh, no, it's normal. No, it's, it's a Jeez. Phillips one. Wow. Wow. That's big. <laughs> That's what she said. Oh, God, I was waiting for that. <laughs> Warren. You, uh, you left your scooter here last time. Oh, no. Someone's taking it, they it, but I know. Oh, how, how are you going to ride to school now? Oh, dearie me. Wait, is that a, kitchen, a golden tread cushion? <laughs> what the hell? That's a golden tread cushion, that's awesome. The world's best marmalade. Yes, I'll agree with that one. There's a lot of um, fibre in here, I'm actually put a mask on. For the first time ever. <laughs> oh, hang on, you haven't even got the end on it. No? No, you're missing the end. Oh, fuck. So you can't even wear it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's useless. <laughs> Warren's just, because I've never worn this, I've literally never worn this at all, and Warren's just said apparently there's, there's a clip missing, uh, which should be on here and it's not there. So, uh, fuck you, Amazon. <laughs> The worst thing is, it's like way over the like return date as well because like I said, I've had it for a year and I've never used it, so... Yeah, it's a bit ridiculous. New mask coming very soon. <laughs> so guys, we're in the kitchen. Uh, this entire place is pretty damn smashed, to be fair, but still a pretty cool kitchen. Is that, the, is that a dishwasher? Yeah, the dishwasher's left. And the internal looks all right. It actually looks in pretty decent condition. It's just the, uh, the front door that's a bit fucked. <laughs> It's uh, time, wages, and national insurance records. So I will blur this all out, but it's quite interesting so you guys know we found stuff, even if you guys can't see it. Sorry. It's from 1976, though, geez. Yeah, 1976. I could, show you the, I could show you the date, that's fine. 1976. 
I didn't actually get the date on that. I literally just looked at it and thought, I'm not putting it in the video because I don't want it on to blow the screen. You've just been in so many documents and stuff everywhere. All the way up the stairs. What's this newspaper? Turin's elegant piazzas and palizos. Okay, upstairs we go. Warren just came up here a minute ago and he said he found a uh, an interesting rich tea tin. So this is actually a, a McVitie's rich tea tin. That's so cool, I've never seen that before. And uh, there's like an old, is that an 8-track player? I think it is. I don't really know much about these, but I think it's an 8-track player. Oh, we go. Oh, yeah, 8-track stereo. This is it right there. That's cool. That's a freaky, that's a freaky doll. A very freaky doll. This place is so smashed. This, oh, my God. Warren. Warren. Please tell me you looked up when you came up the stairs. The contents of their roof is coming, like, as in the, the loft contents. That, believe it or not, I know we're like a black figure now, but that, believe it or not, is actually all the stuff that they would have stored, the people who lived here before, would have stored in their loft, you know, memories, photographs, just falling through where the, the ceilings come through. I find that really sad, like, I, if somebody went through the contents of my loft, they'd find, like, toys from when I was a kid, and, like, school books and stuff like that, and I think that, to have that just kind of left, and you not have it near you as a person. I know that some people like don't like keeping that sort of stuff, but I do. I'm more sentimental than that. So, yeah, that's kind of sad. Okay, so I know for a fact that there are apparently some uh, needles or needle stoppers in here, so we're going to be very careful about where we walk in here. Because I know that uh, Warren said he found some. Like I said, there. Uh, this was used as a drug addict's house for a while. Can't see them though. Or is that is that them there? That might be actually, yeah. I believe that's a, a needle stopper. Yeah, there's a few. Look, one there, one there, one there, one there. Yeah, those are those are needle stoppers. So what would have gone on the end of the needle? But yeah, we're not going to go too far in because I'm pretty sure there's uh, some nasties in here. There's the uh, the TV aerial from the roof has <laughs> come through. Jeez. This place is cool. Um, the fans from history <laughs> used to be here, some old Christmas cards. Some other bits of heating. Oh, and um, look at that. some really, really cool stuff on them. Have you found anything interesting? Yeah, actually, I've just stopped because uh, I want to check out this book here. The Happy Adventure Readers Introductory Book. Can you hold your light there a second? Happy so Adventure I can... Readers Book. Yeah, I want to have a look at it. I like the artwork. It looks pretty old. Oh, look at that. Little kid's book. Well, that is proper old. Here is Jack. Jack can play with Dick. Wow. Dora can bring Jane. It's fun to play with Dora and Jane. Nip, bring the ball and play with it. Wow, guys, that is a really that is old. A super old book. Oh, what's the date on that? I need to find the date. Oh my god. Well, I want it to focus on this. 1958. This book is 1950. This is like what? 60 years old? Yeah. So guys... It's actually got really good colours on it for a 60 year old book, wow. Yeah, it's actually not bad nick actually. It's other than the folded over corner, and that's actually pretty good. So it must have been stored pretty well. That Why, why does it sound so familiar? It sounds like I've heard this somewhere before. Well, you are ancient, so you might have actually been read this maybe as a child, or you might have even been read this to your kids. <laughs> Piss off. <laughs> <laughs> you found a board game? Check this out. Oh, I actually used to play this as a kid. Warren's no found joke. a board game? Yep. Uh, you put your marbles. You lost your, there, mar you lost your marbles years ago, what are you on about? <laughs> well, I did. <laughs> I haven't played this in years, but guys, you actually used to put your marbles in here. You're going to try and do this and keep the light on focus as possible, and then literally, you had battles. The four of you, you had to slide it and drop the opponent's marbles down. And then you also had to try and keep yours as well. So you took it in time, turn, sorry, and you slid them around. And wow, this guy, this brings me back to my childhood. This is actually a bit like a nostalgia trip for me because there's a lot of stuff here that not necessarily is my era, but like 
I remember maybe being around me as a child because of my parents or my grandparents. This, for example, this book, I'm not, I can't remember 100% if I had a book like this or the same as this, but it, Okay, guys, let's pause because we heard sirens outside and they stopped, which was never a good sign. Um, so we thought maybe they might have spotted, and they spotted Warren's car or something. What is that? As I was saying, a lot of this stuff that I'm seeing isn't necessarily stuff that I would have seen or played with when I was a kid, but maybe stuff that I was around, like grandparents and parents. Oh my god, hang on, hang on. Oh my god! That is a Toy Master thing with the mil with Star Wars in it, Millennium Falcon. Look at that! I've been... A Star Wars? Star Wars, to Happy Christmas from I Toy Master. Toy Master? What? Guys, that... I've not seen a... Chitster? I wonder if it's still going. Mark the toys. I've no idea. Try ringing him. Well, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know the area, so... <laughs> Just, just type that number and I'm sure it will still work. <laughs> Guys, that is so, so cool. Look at these old toys. Action police. Something we hope we don't see tonight. I honestly didn't expect to find this much stuff. The downstairs were so smashed, I thought we wouldn't find anything, but there's so many nice little details. Right, guys, there is a very good reason why I'm filming my foot. I know it doesn't seem like it, but there is. This is the room that I didn't venture too far in because there was apparently a needle. Was, I wanted to kind of see if I could find one just to sort of prove that I wasn't like, you know, making it up for any reason to like make the video more entertaining or something. So, here's my foot. There's a needle. That's what I'm talking about. There's so much stuff on the floor here. And these these are the stopper things, the orange things like you said about. There's so much on the floor you never know where you're standing. In fact, there's another, there's another needle over there. Let's see if I can zoom in on that because I'm not going to step over this. Um, you might be able to spot it just there. Got to be so careful. This is why I wear safety shoes, but even those aren't going to stop a needle, so just be careful where you're stepping. There's yeah. syringe there, syringe underneath. Oh, the yeah, yeah, I can see the syringe there. So I'm going to zoom on that. It's, it's kind of ironic, it's on a McLean's packet as well. Get McLean's with drugs. <laughs> Right guys, I think we're pretty much done here. Uh, we're probably going to make our way out in a second and I'll make sure I get some more shots of that lovely swimming pool for you guys because uh, that's probably the best bit downstairs. Upstairs was definitely way more interesting. There's a lot of like nostalgic old kind of stuff which is like really cool that's been left and preserved quite well actually. Uh, unfortunately, you've got to combat that with all the needles and stuff that are lying around. But I think we got, we got quite lucky. I say that, touch wood, before we actually leave the damn house. Nice one, Nathan. <laughs> anyway, if you guys want to see the exterior of this place, uh, I recommend you go and check out the video I did with Steph, uh, because there's a, there's a um, not swimming pool, a, um, a tennis court outside. Sorry, I got the words down the end. There's a tennis court outside, there's like a really big kind of satellite dish as well, but I filmed all that, so I'm not going to do that today. Uh, but if you guys want to check out that video, I'll link it down below, and I'll put a card up on screen now, somewhere probably, I don't know, somewhere here. But anyway, we're going to make our way out now, so uh, I'll catch you guys in a second.
It's quite a cool place, this. I like this. Oh my god! There's a little go kart. I didn't even see that. How cool is that? That is so cool.